Grips on the forehand and the backhand volley. We'd like to discuss those two together because there's a different correlation between the two and how you move from a backhand volley and recover to a forehand volley. The continental grip has been the most used and been known as the most common grip and probably the most recommended grip out there where if this is the top of the racket, okay, it's the bevel just below the top of the racket there. And you can put your knuckle there, get your three fingers at the bottom, get your nice stability with the thumb. And also this trigger finger helps you keep your racket head stable. For the backhand side, you've got the left hand. Now, when you go to the forehand side, you don't have the left hand on the racket. So this trigger finger here becomes, for the forehand volley, very important because that holds the racket up still get to squeeze with the fingers and the thumb for the forehand volley. So the, this continental grip is great because you can use it for a forehand volley, backhand volley, and for a lot of the rest of the shots, you can transition in to a slice on the backhand side, approach shot or rally shot or a forehand slice approach shot. So it's a grip that you can use for many shots. There are going to be some people that vary with the eastern backhand when the knuckle is on top. In my opinion, that's a little bit of a problem on the forehand because it gets your elbow in a bad spot and it gives you a, a tough, opens your face a little bit too much. Not that you can't volley with it. When I first played tennis, I volleyed like that, but I'd learned that it's a bit easier off the continental. And everybody says, well, you can't get your knuckle below the continental. Well, I got some bad news for the world. I just worked with Alice Ferreira, my student, two-time Grand Slam winner, and Martin Dumb, and both of their knuckles are slightly below what this area here is continental, and I call that a, a European continental. And I always wondered why the players, when I ask them, they feel like they play with the wrong grip. It can be the wrong grip if you win a Grand Slam. That's like everybody saying, look at Federer's grip. And I go, well, he's got 18 Grand Slams. You know, we actually gave that a name, a quarter grip. But the point is, what really matters is whether you're slightly below, you got the continental that you can get the right angle of the racket head, that you can lead with the front edge of your racket, that you're stable with your racket head, even if it's a little bit low, you can get enough squeeze. You know, it does change the face of your racket slightly, and you are gonna be using a little bit more of your fingers if that gets low, but it doesn't matter. You can still get enough strength and enough stability to execute it. Stop worrying about your grips, focus on your technique, worry about your racket face angle and your contact, and you're gonna be good to go.